And we're away at the Stadio dei Pini. And straight away Fiorentina launched the ball forward. It's Dakite who thumps in a right footed shot, sails over the crossbar. The whistle goes, up steps Pompetti with his left. Good save, Guidotti puts it out for a corner. Gordi gets past Rizzo, he's in the area, but he can't beat Pizarro who shuts him down and he misses the target. It's Pompetti with his left and again Guidotti gets down low at the far post, corner. Pompetti switches it in at the near post. Merola, whose header bounces in front of goal and goes wide. Now Merola, tightly marked, gets in a good ball. Brignoli's in the area, the cross for Shiro, who can't keep his header down. Brignoli, ball falls for Vaglietti. The ball comes inside, Guidotti fists it away, and then Diakite clears. And we're off for the second half. Uh, long ball from Nolan. The ball falls for Manjicic. And it's Fiorentina on the break. Uh, down the right with Manjicic. He's in the area. He squares it. Sotil! And Fiorentina hit the lead. 18 seconds into the second half. It was all too easy for Manjicic. She played it inside and Sotil arrives to casually slot it home for the Viola. Here's Pompetti, high ball into the box for Merola! What a save from Guidotti! Pompetti from the corner, and Merola's there! His header across the face of goal, shaving the upright. Gordi's in the area, gets it past Nola, he shoots! And Rizzo blocks, then Zappa clears it upfield. Valletti sees the run of Rover. He crosses, deflection! And into the arms of Guidotti. Pompetti's cross inside for Rova. The ball lands for D'Amico on the edge of the area. And he shoots. It's deflected. Brignoli on his right foot. And Pinto deflects it out for a corner. D'Amico. He's still going. Bus his way through challenges. Gets it inside. Belkahir with the acrobatic shot. And sends it over the crossbar. Pompetti, Zappa, high ball at the back post looking for Vergani and his head has gone wide. Belke here, edge of the area. Brignoli's there as well, he controls the ball, slips it in for Belke here and there's the equalizer for Inter, Momo Belke here. It's 1-1 in the 79th minute, and it's the first goal of the tournament for Momo Belke here, and we're all square in the final. Just look at Brignoli, he recovers possession, gets past two and puts it on a plate for Belke here, who shoots past the keeper for the equaliser with 11 minutes remaining. Zappa, plays it inside to Salah, it's Vergani who puts it on his left, uh, Guidotti with the save for another corner, into so close to completing the comeback. So all eyes are on the ref, but the ball is floated into the area for Diakite, Zappa gets there first and foul is spotted, free kick into, but Tomato says that will do, 90 minutes not enough to decide the final, but two more 15 minute periods. So extra time is underway. Now, long ball forward. Guidotti's lost it. It's Vergani who zots into an empty net and Inter complete the comeback in extra time. Eduardo Vergani's first goal for the youth team and it's 2-1 Inter. After the howler from Guidotti, he has two attempts and he doesn't miss with his second and Inter are in front. Inter on the attack down the right uh, with Vergani. Now he puts it on his left. Uh, easy save for Guidotti. 15 minutes uh, to play with Inter ahead by two goals to one. Gori plays it back for Ranieri who shoots over. 
Now Rover has space for the cross, plays it towards Fergani, but Pompetti thumps it in with his left. Uh, there might have been a deflection. Rover, over for Verdani. He might be in here. He shoots, and it's straight to Guidotti. So all eyes are on D'Amato. It's all over! In to win the Viareggio Cup for the eighth time in the club's history. And it's Marco Sala who can lift up the Carnevale Trophy for 2018. The 70th edition of the Viareggio Cup has the Nerazzurro colours all over it and the party can start.